to you the brightness of the light. I can still remember when my life was like that, a real and painless beauty I remember as a kid. And I thought that I knew everything, and in a way, I did. She was a virgin and a child in a million, with deep brown hazel eyes of blazing intuition. She called me over to her side and said, Will you please listen? I want to show you something, and there's something I've just written and I'm calling it Poetry and Jazz. She watched her happy family turn to a broken home, her father left with someone else, her mother on her own. A 14th birthday, her mother spent in tears, and she celebrated on her own her adolescent years. It was hell then, caught in the crossfire of an emotional triangle she couldn't keep together. I held her softly and she sobbed upon my shoulder, saying as you are the closest thing that I've got to a brother, explain to me, why is that so sad? Boyfriend, come on, get out of bed. Look, it's three o'clock in the afternoon and the mother's coming back. And she smiled then, her eyes filled with laughter. She didn't know if it was love, but it didn't really matter. She called me on the phone and said, hey, get this big brother. I've just got rid of one boyfriend and got myself another one. Listen, this one drives a jam. She left school and boyfriends for university. Three years of study for an art degree. Her clothes were outrageous, her hair was many colours, her work was radical, and so were her ideas. She said, This is brilliant. This place is heaven. On a score of one to ten, I'd give this place eleven. It kicks you up the ass and it fires you with ambition. I often used to feel as if life was just a prison. Now I realise it isn't quite that bad. was invited to an exhibition a little while ago to an art gallery in Paris where she has a studio. She looked sophisticated, she was wearing a bronze pan and she sold all her work for some outrageous sum. And I looked at her and I started laughing. I said, look, you're supposed to be an artist, you're supposed to be suffering. And she just smiled back and pointed to this painting. And the young girl around which she let out this pudding, she showed me one called Poetry and Chess. My name is Angela, I am 12 years old, and I've given up on working hard and doing as I'm told. I see a child, a psychologist, who's spotted in my head, arrested before delinquency or something just as bad. But I, I, am I independent? I see the world in another way to my teachers and my parents. My priorities are different and my life is not as aimless. I am not disruptive and I'm not dangerous. I have a rhythm on purpose like poetry and jazz. She said it's hard for me to explain to you the brightness of the light. I can still remember and my life was like that. A real and painless beauty I remember as a kid when I thought that I knew everything and in a way I did.